Hi, so here's an introduction to the Clicker Counter app. So this will walk through getting started and using variables. So first of all, we need a button on our screen. So I'm just going to drag a button component over. Uh, I'm going to set it up to center on the screen. And I'm going to change the size of my button just to make it a little bigger, a little more interesting looking. So I'm going to change the font size to maybe 36 and the button height, let's say 20% and the width to 40%. Right, and then I can always change the background color for a little more visual interest. And then my text, I'm going to start with just the number zero. So what we're going to do is set this up so that each time the button is tapped, we're going to use a variable to track a number and then put that number back onto this button. So I'm just going to rename my button since leaving it as button one really isn't explanatory. So I'm just going to rename it, let's call it green BTN. because in your enhancements you're going to add another button and you might want to make it a different color so you could give it a different color name. So let's go to the blocks. As we said we're going to use a variable to keep track of the number and then display that number on the button. So variables are over in the blocks and we're going to use initialize global name. So we're going to give our variable a name and it's helpful, again, if it's meaningful. So I'm going to call it counter because it's going to keep track of my count. And since we're going to add to it, we're going to keep adding one onto it. It's uh, what we initialize it as or started out as needs to be a number. So we can come over here to the math and grab a zero block and snap it in. So now we have a variable and what this will do is carve out a spot in memory so that when the app loads it's going to save counter as zero in memory. And we'll look at now how to change that value that's stored in memory. So when the button is clicked we're going to change the value of the counter. So we need a button click event so I'm just going to click on my green button and grab when the green button is clicked event. So when it's clicked, we want to change the value of counter. Now there's a couple of ways that we can do that. Uh, the easiest is just to point to the word counter. Don't click on it because if you click on it, it thinks you want to change the name. But if you just hover over and point to it, you get the getters and setters get allows us to get the value that's stored in the variable and set allows us to change the value and that's exactly what we want to do when the buttons clicked we want to change the value of counter so we want to set it so I'm just going to grab this these blocks are also available under the variables blocks over here where you can grab a get or a set and I'll just say, so for example, I'll just pull this one out over here. But we don't, it doesn't automatically give you the variable, so we'd have to come down and specify the variable that we wanted to use. But I don't need that, so I'm just going to delete that block. So when the button is clicked, we're going to set counter to. And now we need to do a math calculation, a quick math calculation to take whatever the current value is of counter and add one to it. So that means we need a math block for addition. So we'll come over to the math and grab a plus block. So we're going to take whatever the current value is of counter. So that would be using a get block to get the current value and then add one. 
Now I can just come over here and grab a math block. I could duplicate this one. Another quick way to get a number would be to click on the workspace area and just type in my number and press enter. And voila, I have my five. So when the button's clicked, this is going to get the value that's in counter. And why did I say five? I don't know. I only want to add by one. So we want to take the current value and add one to it and then put that, store that back in our counter variable. So when the app loads, counter is zero. We click the button and it's going to take zero plus one, which will put the sum of those into counter, so then counter becomes one. Now the last thing we want to do with this is to put that value into the button. So let me come over here to the button and grab a property that we can use to put the text in. So we have set green button text to. And what do we want to set it to? Whatever the value of counter is. We don't want to hard code an exact number in here because then it'll always be that number. But we want to use our variable, which will always update and change with the new value every time the button is clicked. So we'll come up here and get global counter. So now let's test this and see what happens. Okay, so I have this up on the screen, and now when I tap the button, right, it increases each time we tap the button. So our code works. The next thing for you to do is you're going to come back in for the lab assignment. You're going to add a second button that does a, a different count so that it's completely different than this one. So it has to count by twos or fives or thirteens or whatever value you want to count by. And then you also need to set up a reset button to clear the values out of your variables and then also reset these to work. Let me bring up a demo finished working version for you. All right, so we have the one button that we just created, counting by ones. And my other button is counting by tens. And since these use different variables, they are tracking completely different numbers, so they don't affect each other. Now when I tap my reset button, my numbers go back to zero on the buttons. And then I start counting back again from zero and then uh, continue going upwards. So that's the final working version of what your lab assignment should do when you're finished.